Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So this is the ninth part of Jira series guys and today I'm gonna talk about how we can clone the issue in Jira and how we can link one issue to another issue in Jira, right? So in the last video I talked about how to set up the sprint, how to start the sprint. Now today we'll focus on how we can, like what are the different options or actions we can perform once we create the issue, right? Uh, and of course we'll talk about how we can clone and uh, link issue in Jira. So let, let me take you to my Jira account where we'll see all these operations practically. So let's get started. So this is my Jira account. So let me just quickly recap. So we have created a couple of projects like my new project underscore company managed, right? And another project is my new project underscore team managed. And uh, this is the key MC is for uh, the project which we are working on. MC is the key, right? So, and here you can see we have created a few epics. Epic is nothing but the large amount of work. So that denotes using this purple color uh, icon, right? And inside that, if you expand it, we'll see different user stories over here. MC 3, 4, 11, and 12, UI development, backend development. So these are the four user stories we have, which we have created in the last part. Similarly, we have another epic uh, MC-2 sign up page development. There also we created few user stories inside that. So epic is nothing but the large amount of work which further divided into different uh, smaller units in terms of user stories, right? Now here you can see this blue color line as well. So that denotes the, uh, the progress of this epic, correct? So two of four, you can see two of four in progress. And these are the like uh, different epics we have under releases and uh, sprints. If I talk about sprints, so this is the sprint cycle which we have created on 28th of Feb, and that will go this two weeks sprint. So that will be ended on 13th of March. Correct. So this is what uh, we have seen in the last video. And uh, here you can see if I select any particular user story, so this UI development. So let me take. So you can see in the side view as well. And if you want to open it, so simply select this user story or issue type and simply right click and open in new, new window, right? So this UI development, you can add the description as well. Uh, last time we have, we haven't added any description over here. I think we have added the description uh, in the epic. So you just define all the requirements like high level requirements for this user story and uh, just save it and you can put some screenshots as well. I'll talk about it. And uh, we have this, it is showing, uh, giving the suggestion of this Confluence pages as well. So you can add the requirements over here, like business people will add the requirements uh, in this particular user story as well. So this is giving the suggestion as well. So this Confluence is nothing but another product type in Jira, which I'm going to discuss in coming videos. And you can attach the business requirement over here as well. And in description, you can give some high level requirements, right? And uh, yeah, so this is what we have created earlier. Now today we'll show you how we can link and how we can clone the issue. So there are two ways you can create the issue like user story. So user story comes under this epic, right? So here we have plus icon. So create child issue. It is showing like create child issue. So you can create from here. And if you want to create the epic, so you can create simply from here. There is another way you can create the issue or you can create all the issue types from here by this create button, correct? So let me create another user story and I'll show you uh, different operations, right? So by default, it is already selected our project MC and uh, issue type story, correct? And uh, this is the status like uh, workflow. Uh, I'll talk about workflow as well in detail. Uh, what are the different, uh, like how we can customize as well. So right now we have three status. So currently let it be like to do uh, when we start this user story, right? So let me just simply give like uh, let's test user story just for uh, our understanding purpose test user story and uh, parent you can give the uh, you can link from here as well like this is this will be acted as child uh, this user story will be acted as child of epic right so you can select the particular uh, let's say i'm going to uh, select this time home page because we don't have any user stories inside this home page i'm selecting that that 
or you can simply give the summary home page user story correct and uh, component anyway we don't have any component uh, i'll create separate video on this one what what do you mean by components so we don't have any components in this project and you can add the description over here some description you can add so for now i'm adding the test and you can put the screenshots as well in this description as well so let me put any screenshot you can put the screenshot like this simply copy and paste right so this is the description and you can change the font and some other stuff you can do it from here correct and a reporter will be who is going to uh, who is going to report this uh, issue type like uh, who is going to create this issue user story so by default it is showing my name and a fixed version if you have version system in our uh, uh, like uh, project then it will show the versions as well yeah we'll create different versions as well later on and you can set the priority as well from here like uh, right now this is set to medium so let it be like medium you can set some other highest or any other uh, priority type as well labels so this is last time we have created login label so this time let's say home page home page like that we can create home page and simply create this new label and attachment also you can attach suppose you want to attach any uh, you want to attach anything to this user history you can attach from here as well yeah now this is important things right linked issue so uh, we have different options over here like uh, while linking the issue from uh, this issue, issue type to another user story right so we have different options over here it is showing like how we are going to link it so let's say this home page right this currently this is uh, home page user story now just for uh, let's say it is blocked by login page just take an example so we will select like is blocked by which one login page development like this epic just for an example this is blocked by this user story this epic so simply you can select the uh, you can link the issue as well like this and assignee to whoever you are going to assign to whom you are going to assign you can simply select the person of the name uh, person over here let let's see uh, i'm going to assign myself or you can select assign to me here and sprint it will show you like what are the different sprints sprints we have uh, for uh, this project so currently we have only one active sprint right so simply select that sprint yeah so all the options we have selected guys so let me just simply click on create and we'll see how it looks the linking part right so simply click on create and you will get the message you are uh, you have created mc-3 issue open in new tab so you can see home page user history has been created now if you see this is the screenshot which we have attached in the description uh, part of the user story and in attachment also it will show and you can see this linked issue correct linked issue it is showing is blocked by mc-1 which we have selected right is blocked by now if you see this login page development this user story uh, this epic you will see it blocks by this mc-3 let me open in new one this login page development and if you come down you will see your yeah, linked issues here as well which blocks mc23 correct so this particular user history which we have created mc-23 is blocked by login page development correct so until and unless if it is not done this login page development we cannot do this home page just just for an example right however we can start uh, our work parallelly as well right for for an example just understand like how we are going to link issue from one issue to another issue so the meaning of this is blocked by this login page development whereas if you see this uh, epic mc-1 it shows like it blocks which issue mc-23 home page user story so this is how we can link the issue as well and you can do multiple as well by 
and clicking on this plus icon and you can uh, see how we are going to link the uh, different uh, issues let me cancel it for now and you can see this confluence page again and you can put the comments as well uh, in the activity so let's say suppose i want to highlight someone or uh, to whom we have assigned right so this please work on this user story we can put the comments like this and click simply click on save so we'll get the notification as well uh, we'll notify this particular person so we can give comments like this and you can see in the history as well like how it is started uh, hitendra Orma created the issue three minutes ago and how it is changed uh, right the parent on nun to mc16 and this issue is blocked by mc1 so everything will be logged here in the history now let's see what are the different options we have right side so you can see the details over here like uh, assignee reporter who reported the issue and who is going to uh, we are going to assign you'll see over here label we have see uh, we can see home page here and sprint priority and parent what is the parent issue so if you come here in the timeline right and inside that home page we have created right so automatically it will show over here mc-23 home page user story right yeah so yeah come come coming back to this mc-3 and we have more fields as well uh, these are the different fields other fields we have story points i'll create separate video i'll talk about in a separate video about this user uh, story point and we have some components component which while uh, we saw it while creating the because we don't have any project uh, component for this project and versions as well and if you click on these three dots we have different uh, actions over here so you can uh, if you click on this log you can log the work as well like how much time you are going to take while doing this user story again if you see flag so you can add the flag here as well so it is flagged now if you come back to this timeline you will see not in timeline if you see it in this backlog you will see that issue has been flagged here you can see right this home page user story uh, now if you see another things like move move option is there so let's say by default uh, sometimes what happens is uh, if by mistakenly if you create another issue right if you have created any other issue then if you want to change change the issue type we can change it using this option move so simply click on that and it will take us to this one uh, uh, like changing the issue type uh, screen so from here you can change the issue type as well like suppose uh, from history if i want to change it to task or bug or epic we can change it as well so that is the purpose of that uh, move option uh, simply i come back to this particular user history and if you see some other options so we have clone option as well so what is the meaning of clone so simply we are copying this user story this mc-23 to another user story correct so let's say we are going to what is the purpose of this one uh, let's say suppose we are going to create a similar user story so instead of creating from beginning we can simply clone it so simply clone click on clone and you will see uh, whether you want to keep all the attachments or not attachments and links clone sprint value as well so let's say we are going to do as it is what we have in mc-23 and simply i'll give a name as well what is the uh, user history which we are going to clone right for which we are going to uh, create the new user history so simply i'll give here cloned one or is the clone one right and simply click on clone so you'll see it is cloning the issue and you'll get this option as well so simply open this issue type is in new window so this has been created this another user history right and you'll see the same description over here same screenshots and uh, linked issue same linking because we have selected those options right while cloning so that's why it is linking all the options in this particular user history as well correct and accept the comments 
comments because this is another user story so it will it will not forward carry forward the comments and other things yeah so let me uh, see another option so we have delete option as well so by deleting this uh, the the issue which we cloned we created the new issue we are going to delete that one so simply we have this i mean we have delete option as well when we create the create any issue type so simply cl click on this delete option you can delete this issue correct so that is issue has been deleted now let's see another uh, what are the other options we have find your value find your field so you can you will get one uh, window from here you can find your different fields like project so it will give you like uh, the details about that particular field we have some other options action menu so we can perform different operations using this action menu here so we can attach create subtask correct right? So we can perform different operas, operations using this action options actions menu from here and you can print you can export to xml you can export to word as well so simply clicking on export word you will see this it it has been exported to word document like you can see what else we have take a tour so simply it will take us to different options we have next comments next uh, change the status as we as work and uh, different fields so this is how it will take us different take a tour right find out more if you click on find out more so it will take us to i think support page of atlassian that's fine now this is the workflow guys we have to do in progress done which we are going to see in coming videos like how we can uh, do the workflow as well right by if you look at the active sprint if you go to this active sprint here you can see the like couple of user stories are, are in progress so this is all for today so hope you understand this video right uh, that's complete concept of how we can clone the issue how we can link the link one issue to another issue and what are the different options we have inside when we create any user story or any issue type in Jira. So this is all for today. So let me know if you still have, if you have any doubts in the comment section of this video. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe it and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.